Hello, 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 love. My name is Pranath and Singer. You're watching my nappy roof. And if you got a little time, you might as well stick around. Welcome back to my nappy roots everyone. It is springtime and springtime has been long called the rebirth, the regrowth of nature. So following with that, I am here to announce what I affectionately call growing season. It is the time to put away the blow dryer, the flat iron, the curling iron, Put it away. Summer and spring is the time for growth and renewal. All of the things that we did to abuse, to damage, mistreat our hair over the winter with our heat styles, wearing that beautiful flat iron that I got so many comments on. The time for that is over. Straight hair is for cold weather and I so strongly believe that because last year during the spring and the summer I got two and a half inches of hair in five months. I retained every single bit of length in my hair and people were absolutely astonished and amazed at how much longer my hair had gotten just from doing no heat and protective styles. I am a firm believer in the importance of protective styling and the importance of giving our hair extended rest periods. For me, that is going to always be the summer. Every single year from now on in the summertime, it will be no heat and protective styling. I am such a huge advocate of no heat and protective styles for the summer. Straight hair is for what? Let me hear you cold weather exactly so coming up in the fall i will flat iron my hair again and hopefully i will have reached my goal length of mid back length my mother is mid back length so i'm trying to catch up trying to fight the good fight and catch up with her and so once again with this style i have my bantu knot bun and I just redid it and what I did this time is a zigzag part on the side and I got a swoop because you know people with foreheads people with big foreheads need a little swoop action just to take off the corner but I wanted to make this video to inspire to encourage and to say you can not only grow your hair but you can grow your life as well. Spring is a time for renewal. Spring is a time for change. The seasons are changing and it is time for us to change what needs to be changed within us. Um, I'm in a lot of different groups on Facebook and there are a lot of people who are getting on their fitness goals, who are getting themselves healthy again, getting their bodies healthy, getting their hair healthy, getting their minds healthy, getting their spirits healthy. All of those things are a full circle that I always like to talk about because they are definitely connected. You cannot have one without the other. It's like a chain. No one link of the chain is more important than the others, but they all must be there in order for the chain to remain strong. For us as individuals to remain strong, we have to be diligently working, diligently trying to become better. Once we master one thing, we move on and master a new thing. My favorite thing to do is walk. I love to be outside. I love to walk and exercise is paramount for our health. It is paramount for the health of our bodies and healthy hair does not come from a sick or diseased body. So spring and summer is the time for growth time for renewal and time for change. If there is anything in your life that is suffering, anything in your life that is lacking, spring and summer is the time to make those changes. In my opinion, the new year does not start until spring because in the middle of the winter, I don't even know why it makes sense to have a new year start in the middle of dead winter. That to me is absolutely crazy. 
spring for me is the beginning of the new year and the beginning of new ideas new things change happens for me in the spring and over the summer I cannot wait until the fall to see how much longer my hair has gotten and how much closer I am to that new goal of mid back length my original hair length goal was APL armpit length that's right up here and now my hair is down here so I am amazed and astonished myself being a witness to what I do to my hair on a daily basis I am still looking for the magic and what I found the magic to be is patience and consistency no matter what it is that we want in life the main ingredient that must be there is that we must be patient we must always remain patient because things that are worth having are worth waiting for and they take time nothing happens overnight hair does not grow overnight we do not get in shape overnight we do not lose weight overnight we do not grow our finances overnight we don't repair our credit overnight we don't learn things overnight everything takes time so we must exercise our patience and we also on the flip side must remain consistent no matter what it is you want to do in life to lose weight to gain weight to work out to gain muscle to gain hair length to gain whatever we want in life we have to be consistent to diligently make small strides toward our final goal and to also maintain the goal we must continue to be consistent consistency is key in so many things it runs the gamut for me i don't just see this as hair care as just being hair care it's life care grow your life instead of just your hair having long beautiful healthy hair and not having a long beautiful healthy life is truly irrelevant that is what i wanted people to get from the beginning of me creating a channel was for people to say hey if I can grow my hair what else can I grow what else can I do what else can I look at what else can I change in my own life that was truly the goal service was the goal to help people become aware and to shake and wake and to inspire people to want to be better and go higher to the next level in their consciousness and their awareness what I offer on my channel is what works for me. The method that I have found is what me and my hair guru QB, the truth is hair, have coined the POW method, which is protection, oil, and water. Those three things, the combination of those three things have resulted time and time again. And I've seen it to be proven in many people over and over and over. Those three things, protection, oil, and water, have attributed to my length retention and the length retention of so many other people our hair is growing from moment to moment second to second hour to hour day by day week by week month by month year by year constantly our hair is always growing but we never see the length because we are constantly damaging our hair we're constantly pulling it out relaxing it out frying it out burning it out pulling it out doing all of these things that one by one little by little chip away at the ends of our hair to grow our hair longer we must retain the ends of our hair as long as possible because this down here the bottom of our hair is what we need to keep we're constantly worried about the scalp, the scalp, the scalp, the scalp, the scalp, the roots of my hair, the roots, the roots, the roots. The roots are doing their jobs just fine. What we need to do is be conscious and aware of what we're doing to destroy the length, to destroy the bottom. Once we stop destroying the ends of our hair, our hair will get longer, 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 longer. One of the last remaining archetypes about black people is that we cannot grow hair. A black man became president. That is something that no one ever thought would happen in the history of the world. It happened. Now, let's change the face of black hair care because our hair can grow as long as we want it. It has nothing to do 
with our hair being kinky, curly, nappy, whatever label you want to attach to the texture of our hair, it has absolutely nothing to do with that. I relaxed my hair when I was 19 years old and for 19 years my hair was natural. For me, what's new is the relaxer and I have absolutely nothing against anyone who is natural. I love natural hair. It's just not for me right now because where I am in my journey, I don't have the patience to deal with my tightly curled, tightly coiled, tight texture of hair. I will pull it all out trying to comb it. So for me, the text lacks, that gives me more manageability and that's what it's all about. Being able to figure out how do I manage my hair for my life and for my own unique situation. But what I want to do is that I want to change the face of black hair care because our hair can grow as long as Asian hair, as long as Caucasian hair, as long as Hispanic hair, as long as any other hair. We just have to stop destroying it. That is the reason why black people don't have the hair that they desire is because we are constantly destroying it. We constantly do not have patience and we are constantly not consistent. Once we change those things, it will change the face of black hair care. I want to erase the stereotype that every time we see a black person with long hair that they must be wearing a wig, that it must be a weave, that they must be mixed, that they must be a myriad of excuses. People constantly make up bad, make up excuses to justify their own bad behavior. We must stop doing that. We must stop placing the blame on what our mothers did, what our fathers did, what they didn't do. None of that matters. What matters is what you can do today, right now. And once you figure out what works for you in growing your hair, turn to your neighbor and help your neighbor. I can't do this on my own. I need everybody out there watching this video to become inspired and to also turn and inspire the people next to them. Tap your neighbor and say, my hair is growing right now and so is yours. Because it's going to take all of us. It's going to take every single one of us to destroy this myth, to destroy this misinformation that black hair cannot grow because it absolutely can. If you go back to my very first videos until now, until recently, you will see the growth before your eyes. If you watch people like Kimmy Tube, her hair grew from her shoulders to her waist in three years. We can do it. It can be done. It can be done, but we have to first believe that it can be done because belief overrides everything. Desire overrides everything. The desire to grow your hair has to outweigh the disbelief or has to outweigh the misinformation. Misinformation has been passed down to us from generation to generation. This myth of black people should only wash their hair every two weeks has destroyed us in the water because water is the foundation of hair care. Moisture for black hair is the lifeblood of our hair. Our hair craves water and we never want to give it water because we are afraid because somebody told us that water will destroy it. Water will dry it out. That makes absolutely no sense. Water cannot dry out anything. Water can only moisturize. We have to trap the moisture in our hair with oil and not grease. Grease does absolutely nothing for our hair but seal out moisture. Coated, seal out moisture. Grease is great for our skin, but it's terrible for our hair. That is something that I never use and that I wish no longer even existed in the marketplace because it's destroying our hair left and right. And also the misuse and the abuse of chemicals of relaxers and bleach and hair color. It is destroying us left and right. Our hair is fragile. Hair period. No matter what race you are, is fragile. If you pull one strand of hair, it will pop fairly easily. We have to be aware and mindful of every single thing that we are doing to our hair. But I am here today 
to announce the start of growing season. The Summer No Heat Challenge is once again back. Come with me on this journey of doing no heat and protective styling and wet styling all summer long and you will see growth. You will see retention if you are not breaking that hair. Water and moisture is your best friend. Love it like I love it, like my hair loves it. My hair has gotten used to water and it craves water like a plant. Like I always say, hair is like a plant. We must treat it as such. So, with that being said, my loves, stay tuned to my nappy roots because there is always, always, always much, much more on the way. Bye. Experience inspires inspiration. Inspiration without experience is not creation. Repeating what has been said is duplication. Growing season. Give birth to new aspiration. Respect my choice and acquisition. Don't deny my accusation. Doling out the truth. Assembly line production. Let the air out your tires. Deflation. No more commercial narration. It's growing season, a time for change. It's growing season, a time for change. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Take your cue from Mother Nature, wake up and be reborn. Shining rays of silver hope, the truth unworn. Instead of dividing, let's come together, learn together, impact together, grow together. Stop lying to the masses because they too easily buy it. Wanting no parts of what you're selling, I'm telling and now I'm yelling. Rise up with severity and intensity. In severity there is changing, in changing there is saving. It's about to get hotter till things are right again. It's growing season, a time for change. It's growing season, a time for change. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Lost to us the information. They sought our extermination. Blew the dust off, time for examination. Growing season is emancipation. No magic pill, potion, or solution. Consistency is the new revolution. Consistent liberation is the foundation, the adaptation of their dictation, increasing my frustration. New weapons they fashion, thank God for compassion, and freedom finding my passion. It's growing season, a time for change. It's growing season, a time for change. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Don't linger in the sprouting, wasting time with doubting. Through the fire and out of the ashes, my people have come, scarred but remarkably unblemished. More beautiful than ever before. Don't ignore the divine light within you. Open your eyes and see God all around you. His mercy and glory abound before you. The truth written in the hearts of man, in the heart and not the hand. This vicious cycle will come to an end. Change comes in the morning. Growing season is dawning.